Drivers can expect to pay more at the pump. According to the Lundberg survey, the national average for the price of gas rose to around $3.15 for a regular grade. That's up more than two cents from two weeks ago and 93 cents from this time last year. The hike is due to crude oil prices. Holiday travel won't be to blame for any near-term increase. That's a myth, according to experts. What will push prices higher, though? Some states are imposing a fuel tax at the beginning of July. If you have Venmo, you can soon sell products and services on your personal account, but it'll cost you. The new policy will take effect July 20th. Users will be charged about a 2% plus a 10 cent fee. This is the latest attempt by PayPal, which owns Venmo, to profit from the payments app's user base of more than 70 million. It rolled out a physical Venmo branded credit card last year and a flexible cash rewards program. The reopening of America is taking another step forward. Over the weekend, the first cruise ship in 15 months with paying passengers set sail from a U.S. port. The voyage giving us an inside look at that industry's future. Carrie Sanders reports from onboard the celebrity cruise ship Edge. This morning in the Gulf of Mexico, the cruise ship Edge. But before any paying passengers could be cheered, new rules. Vaccine cards, not mandatory, but encouraged. Somebody gets on board, they don't want to show a vaccine passport, they're unvaccinated. What is different for them? It involves some other things, extra testing, because we want to make sure that we prevent any kind of spread. It also involves having to wear masks. On board the edge, 99% of passengers and crew vaccinated. Grace Moomert and 23 other kids are too young to get a vaccine. How is it that you're on board? I got tested and we had to see the results before I could get on board. Two adults on board are also not vaccinated. Like crew members, they have to wear masks. Among the most visible changes, the self-serve buffets. Does it matter to you that they serve you rather than you just serving yourself, taking as much as you want? No, 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 no. I like it much better being served. I don't like touching spoons that everybody else touched. It's just too much. Almost three weeks ago, two passengers tested positive on the Millennium after a dry run with new protocols. Our objective is unlike what you see on land in so many places, we can contain it. We can make sure that if there is a case, it remains a case and rather than an outbreak. Meanwhile, on land, the fight against COVID is not over. The dangerous Delta variant spreading rapidly among the unvaccinated, especially in some southern states. But America is reopening. New York City's pride celebration back with packed streets. And after staying dark for 15 months, the first Broadway show featuring Bruce Springsteen opened up to a packed and fully vaccinated audience. The excitement level is at an all-time high. Meanwhile, COVID vaccines now come with a new warning. We'll tell you about that right after the break.